Hey my girly pops, what's poppin'? It's Maya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the first episode of the Girl Talk series and I'm really excited for it. If you guys didn't know, I posted a little big announcement like a week or two ago, sort of telling you guys about this series and today's the first episode. I think this is just gonna be an amazing series because it's almost gonna be like a little chill session. It's gonna be a longer video, not so edited, and it's almost like your favorite podcast that you love listening to. I'm gonna have segments before we actually get into the main topic, and then once we get to the main topic, we're going to be diving on in. I'm gonna be talking about my experiences with it, and then also I will be posting a little Google form where you guys can type in little submissions, and it's completely anonymous, so I'm gonna be going through those as well but let's get in to the first episode of the girl talk series which is insecurities so actually before we do get into that i want to start off with our little segments and i really feel like a podcaster right now um we got a little we got a little headphone mic you know and then we're just chilling um but the first little segment that i want to do is my favorites so this can be products songs things that i've been doing but the first one for this first episode is going to be some products i have three things here which like might be like a lot because it's supposed to be my favorite but like we're gonna make it my favorites so the first thing is going to be this star phase hydro colored pimple patches and let me tell you guys these are so helpful with pimples um i had a big pimple right here between my eyebrows and it was literally the worst and i used this um i actually got it during the day and once i got home i left it on and by the night time so much stuff had already come out of it which was kind of gross but then i just like used it um for like the next couple days it left faster than it came and it was thanks to these so if you're having pimples definitely go get you some of these they are so helpful now the next thing is actually two things and it's going to be these face masks and these are from ulta but the brand is freeman and this first one is this exfoliating scrub mask this one is really great it's like kind of rough on your skin but it feels really good once you rinse it back off and then the other face mask is from freeman's as well and it is the anti-stress clay mask definitely get you all of those products this is so awkward trying to like introduce the different segments but like once we do a few of these episodes you guys are already gonna know the different segments that are gonna be coming so one of my lights actually just went out so i had to go plug it into an extension cord so that we could continue with this video but the next little segment to this girl talk series is going to be highs and lows this is something that i think is really cool because you basically say the high of your week and then the low of your week i think my low this week is going to be this hurricane ian that is coming to florida um i this is actually a wednesday when i'm filming this video because i'm out of school for the rest of the week due to this hurricane and i just hope that everyone is okay and that my family stays safe and that everyone stays safe and hopefully no one is majorly affected by this hurricane and then my high is going to be i think my monday it was really good i had my really fun classes okay so for the last little segment before we actually get into the episode is a positive quote so today's quote is going to be when you have a bad day a really bad day try and treat the world better than it treated you and that is from patrick stump so now that we have some positivity, some of my favorites and my highs and lows, let's get into the episode insecurities. So I have my laptop here and I'm going to be using it for a few things throughout this episode and I wanted to use it to actually tell you guys the actual definition of insecurities according to Google. So, according to Google, insecurities mean uncertainty or anxiety about oneself, lack of confidence. I feel like insecurities are a big thing of kids um, and like tweens and teens of this age because we see so many people on a daily basis and it's kind of hard to not be insecure about yourself by what you see in someone else. So, some really common insecurities are relationship insecurity, social insecurity, body image, job insecurity, and insecurity of basic needs and i feel like all of these are true but not really for 
kids that are my age and I feel like some common insecurities I wanted to actually talk about some of mine before we get into some of yours where I'm going to be giving you guys some advice so one of my biggest insecurities growing up and still to this day as I'm still growing up is my hair because I feel like it's so much different than people that I see on a day-to-day basis like a whole lot of influencers that I follow have hair like me and it's really cool to see that now but when I was in elementary school I never saw a whole lot of people that looked like me I think there were three mixed girls including myself that um, had curly hair and mine definitely didn't look like anyone else's um, I looked to a lot of the girls that had straight hair and felt really insecure and I feel like that is a big thing with insecurities is you might wake up and feel good but then when you go out into the world then you're like oh I don't have that or why does my why do I like different than this person and it's because everyone's different but it's really hard especially as a kid seeing why does my hair look like this when her hair is straight and perfect and manageable and she just can wake up and go like it's all this crazy stuff so the way that I kind of dealt with that insecurity really like wasn't very good but what I did actually was slick my hair every single day and I know my hair is slicked right now so but my hair is usually down most of the time um and that's something that I've gotten to now but definitely looking at little me my hair was in a slick back low ponytail daily you like really never saw it down except for picture day and if it was my choice it would have been up for picture day as well my other biggest insecurity that i have had is for being skinny i have been skinny shamed so much for the length of my life and i'm definitely not even the skinniest person out there there are so many more people that are way skinnier than i am but i feel like especially in middle school um now i was really insecure because people were always like you don't eat or like how can I look like you or like what are you doing to yourself or like are you trying to like starve like what's going on and it's like it's called having a fast metabolism and it wasn't necessarily that I wanted to not be skinny because I like being skinny but it was the fact that I felt bad for it and it was all due to other people and if you look at most insecurities it's all because of yourself because you're the biggest critic like for example when people walk into a room if we have a new student the first thing i'm thinking about has nothing to do with their appearance i'm like ooh, where are they gonna say or like maybe i'm gonna be their best friend or like i wonder where they're from or like what experiences experiences that they've gone through i'm never like uh why does her hair look like that or like why is she wearing an outfit like that like that never happens so why is it that when i walk into a room for the first time i feel like other people are like uh 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 when like but they're really not like no one cares more than you do and that is one of the biggest things that i hope that you take from this video is that all your insecurities are in your head because nine times out of ten no one else is thinking about you that much like we all have our own lives no one is really spending their whole day trying to find flaws about people it's really just us finding the flaws in ourselves now that you've heard that i think it is a great time to start with your insecurities and i know some of you guys probably gave some advice as well so i made a little google form and then i have all of your responses here so let's get into it okay so the first response over here is my insecurity is my side profile i just really don't like how it looks how i deal with it is by telling myself every day my side profile is normal and that helps me a lot throughout my day said about how you deal with it is really good because waking up and telling yourself a side profile is normal or for me being like my hair is normal it is natural that is how it is supposed to be and telling yourself that every day when you do something every single day it is going to become a habit and it's going to really become true to you so just keep on telling yourself whatever you're insecure about just tell yourself it's normal it's beautiful that's the way i was created and that could really help you so i think that advice was really great but whoever sent this in just know that your side profile is beautiful next person said that they are insecure of their height no matter how tall you are whether it is that you are so tall or so short that's how you were made and you are really beautiful the way that you are i honestly think 
height is just a thing that we all deal with. I know I'm a whole lot taller than a lot of people in my grade and I can even feel insecure about that because I feel like I'm looking over everyone else. But just know that it's normal and you were meant to be this height and the height that you are is helping you with certain things and giving you certain advantages and that's beautiful. Okay, so the next person said my nose and sometimes my body. You guys are so beautiful, like your nose it's beautiful and your body it is beautiful and for just your whole body if that's what you're insecure of look at your body and look at all that you've done in your life you have climbed mountains you have done so many things you have ran miles you have walked to so many places and if you didn't have the body that you have you wouldn't have been able to do 99.999 percent of those things so look at your body and look at Look at all the stuff that I have done. The next person said, facial insecurity. Just go with that. It's how God created you. Yes, no matter what you believe in, however you got here, you were created this way by whoever that you believe in. And you just need to know that that's beautiful. I'm kind of insecure about my curly hair. I mean, I love it, but people looking at me when I wear it out makes me really insecure and I don't know what to do because I'm a shy person. I really relate to you, girly pie, because I'm so, I was so insecure in my curly hair and I honestly still can be to this day. Like one day I'm like, I'm confident and then I get stares and it's like, like then I get back into my insecure sort of huddle over self, you know? Um, but I think you just need to be confident, be brave, just wear it out and don't have, don't care what anyone else has to say and just ignore the looks because so many of us curly girls deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis so just know that you're amazing i don't like my back knee back acne and i don't want to wear high neck tops all the time i'm also like the only black and mixed girl in my school that doesn't have extensions so i have really short hair compared to that my friend also says i have a hairy nose my smile can be kind of weird sometimes too i also don't have a flat stomach my thighs are pretty big and probably my big the biggest feet in my school so yeah pretty ugly you are not ugly let's decipher everything that you just said back acne i feel like everyone has acne somewhere on their body and people are like you don't have acne on your face i have acne up and down those legs so do you want to know how uncomfortable i feel every time i wear shorts but then do you realize how often that i wear shorts you just have to go with it. Literally, no one is going to shame you for having back acne. Wear the backless top. Do whatever makes you happy because you are just beautiful the way you are. Next thing, hair extensions. My whole life, I have never had extensions up until me getting box braids. Do you want to know how weird that felt? It felt so strange and I was like, all these girlies have extensions and I don't know that your hair is beautiful you don't need extensions i but then i do understand that when i got box braids i felt like i was more pretty and then when i took them out i felt like it was a downgrade but you just need to know that you were brought to this earth with this beautiful hair no matter how short or long it is and you're just gonna have to accept that literally everyone has a hairy nose everyone has hair everywhere so just know that and then I think everyone is insecure of their smile, especially me with braces. Like, if you guys watch my Get Ready With Me for picture day, I, at the beginning, show that I brush the pearly whites just for you to smile like this. Because I was not going to go and smile like, because it looks so weird. So, like, just know that we all feel you, girly. And then you don't need to have a flat stomach to be beautiful. You are literally beautiful how you are right now as you're watching this video. Yeah. And then lastly, do you want to know that I wear almost the same shoe size as my, as my mom at 13 years old? I wear a size 9 in women's. Feel you, girl. Let's move on to the next response. My insecurity is the way I learn. People have made fun of me because I can't concentrate. Do you have any advice? My biggest advice would be do what works for you. I understand that everyone learns differently. Some people just need to hear it one time. For me, it has to be in depth explained. And sometimes the teacher can't even do it enough that I literally have to ask my parents for help. And also for me, taking notes is really helpful because I can keep on going back over it. So don't feel insecure 
with the way that you learn because everyone learns differently. So the next person I think is giving some advice and they said, insecurities for me is something that I just had to grow out of. You kind of ignore other people and accept the fact that social media is filtered. Treat yourself, look in the mirror, and tell yourself that you're beautiful. Learn to love who you are like I did. I hope this was good enough for the video. This was amazing for the video. I couldn't have said that better myself, so thank you so much for that advice. I, I'm really going to take that to heart, and I hope whoever's watching this does too. Okay, on to the next response. One of my insecurities is, is my weight. I have a fast metabolism, so it's difficult for me to gain weight. I get called a stick and bones all the time. I also hate how my family needs to constantly comment about my weight like I don't already know about it. I don't understand why other people have to skinny shame because I honestly, everyone's body is beautiful, but I don't understand what, why people have to comment on a skinny body. Like, we are beautiful just the way we are and I feel like for your family you should just go and tell them that this is how you are and they are going to need to accept you and your family are the people who brought you into this world so they should be nice for the way that you are. Next one is another weight related thing and it says my insecurity is my weight and whenever I go out people are always asking how old I am and I always say 14 but then they say that I looked like I was 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old. People always ask me why I'm so skinny. You remind me of Sky Jackson because Sky Jackson, I can't even think of her age, but like she's either 20 or almost 20 and she passes as my age. And I think that is a flex, honestly. Like people at school have told me that I look seven years old, so I kind of relate to you as well. But I think that's a flex. If you can go passing as a five year old, you should be pretty proud of that and why would you be insecure of that like if people thought you looked 50 when you were 14 then then that's something going on but five i think is a pretty good number honestly okay so a lot of these it's like two ones about weight two ones about age so now we're on to the second one about age insecurities i look younger than everyone even people younger than me and not being able to relate to other girls that are close in my age because i'm mentally and emotionally there but just not physically it's kind of embarrassing when everyone can relate to growing up things and you just have to sit there and be like yeah i get it when you don't really relate and you look around and seeing everyone looking their age and it's like when am i gonna grow up back to what i was saying about age and also um you're beautiful just the way you are you are meant to look just the way you are and know that growing up is probably gonna come soon but i can relate to the not really relating to growing up things i guess because a lot of you guys on here have told me to make period videos and a lot of girls at school are always talking about periods when i personally have not gotten my period yet so i can't really relate to any of that stuff people are talking about people are talking about like cramps and hormones and all this stuff and i'm just like yeah i know it's a struggle i get it when i don't at all i have no idea what in the world they're talking about i think it's just something you have to deal with i hope i'm giving good advice i feel like i'm saying the same thing over and over but it's true and the next one is advice embrace who you are and be healthy so you know you're embracing your best self and you can feel good about yourself i need to take this advice that is so true because I feel like you're going to be your most happy and best self when you are your most healthy self. So taking priority over your health, whether this is mental, physical, spiritual, literally every aspect of health. And then you're not really going to feel so insecure anymore and you can really just embrace your best self. Someone just said, I love your video so much. I love you and I want to thank you yeah i don't know if this is an insecurity but i feel like i'm annoying to people and i just stop talking i feel like i am so annoying like genuinely and when i hear my voice back it sounds so annoying like how do people listen to me every day how are people watching this video like i feel like i sound so annoying like just seem to know that you're not annoying and that people love you for who you are and your voice and yeah next one says hi i'm like insecure about my body i know not very strange but the thing is if i see my belly getting bigger i'm not going to not eat because i know that food fuels my body but it makes me feel like i'm making myself unhealthy with my current stress levels i know i'm not doing my best 
Do you feel that way too? Love your channel, Maya, and can't wait to see this series. I feel like we all see our stomach getting bigger. Honestly, like, especially me, I feel like. And after I eat, ooh, she's 40 weeks pregnant. Not really, but like, um, I feel like everyone sees their stomach getting bigger, but you are so right that food is fuel and just eating what you love. You don't need to like be the healthiest person out there for sure. All you have to do is know that you're eating food that is healthy for you and also makes you happy. And then um, with current, with stress levels being high, I feel like you just need to take a self-care day or a self-care week or a self-care month and then you're going to feel so much better and just know that i absolutely feel the same way that you do okay so this next one is hi maya hope you're having a great day or night so far anyways let's chat they said their name but i don't really know if i should say that or not so we're just gonna skip that part but they said hey um and they said i'm a bit insecure about my sip my side profile mainly my nose it's a little bit about my waist and my stomach and a tiny bit about my hair I've learned to love myself no matter what. For all you girls and even boys out there that may be reading this, or in this case, listening to this, and if you can relate at all, I'm here for you. We're all in this together. Hashtag self-love. Love you, Maya. I absolutely love this, and I feel like everything that you said was so true. You listed your insecurities, and then you said so many true things about insecurities and kind of how to get over them so i absolutely loved reading that response this next one says i'm insecure about my body in general my thighs arms and i feel so fat no you're not you're beautiful i would always really appreciate tips on how to feel more comfortable in my body literally none of my clothes fit me always the odd one out love your channel by the way you are gorgeous no one is fat you are the way you are some people are some people have a bit more to squeeze and some people have a little less and i think that's amazing um but tips to appreciate your body is like the first response looking in the mirror and telling yourself my body is beautiful my body is beautiful my body is beautiful and it's gonna take a bit before you start to realize it but once you do your whole world is going to change Okay, the next one says, having a tiny voice. I try to ignore the hate comments I receive about my voice because some people might actually like that about you. I don't even know what having a tiny voice means. I don't know if that, like, means it's high pitch or that, like, it's not, you can't hear it very well. I don't exactly know, but I don't think you should be insecure of it. I think you should love it because that's how you are. Okay, the next thing is, I'm insecure about my stomach and want to be able to wear a crop top, but I can't get myself to do it without feeling insecure. Do you have any tips? Also, I love your channel, girly, and super glad that you started this series. I'm really glad that I started this series, too. I'm absolutely loving this. Am I going to love editing, editing this? Most likely not. But I love talking, so, yeah. Okay, so, let's kind of decide for this. You're insecure about your stomach, so you don't really want to wear a crop top, but you want to wear a crop top wear the crop top it literally doesn't matter you don't need to be super skinny to wear crop top literally crop tops are for everyone out there so if you want to wear one wear one and you don't have to care what anyone else has to say okay this next one says hey maya before i start rambling i just wanted to tell you how much your videos make me feel better during school i find myself looking down at my body and then looking at other people around me and just feeling so bad about myself and feeling like i'm not good enough for anyone Hope you have some tips for feeling better. By the way, writing this and actually listening to my emotions made me cry. I want you to know that you are so loved by me and by so many other people. Literally, this whole community of people here love you and are rooting for you and really accept you the way that you are. And the one last piece of this puzzle is for you to accept your own self. And I feel like ways to do this and what you talked about with your emotions is starting a journal. I feel like journals are really helpful. It doesn't need to be a diary filled with your deepest, darkest, secret, darkest secrets. But if you want it to be that, it can be that. I think ways for looking at yourself at school and just like looking at yourself in general is instead of looking at, down at yourself or like in the mirror at yourself and being like, uh, be like, and you should be like, this is me. Watch the greatest show and you'll feel better. No, but like literally just say this is me and this is what I've got and this is what I'm gonna have to love. Next one is how to be confident while wearing hearing aids. I'm part um for partial hearing. Hearing aids are cute, 
and we all love them if it's what you need it's what you need and just keep on wearing them because like you don't want to not hear you know my biggest insecurity is my skin because it's so dry and i have eczema makes which makes it worse whenever i go out in public i'm afraid people are going to point it out i want to get a skincare fix but my mom won't let me so i guess i'm stuck with it I totally, totally relate to you because I have so many things with my skin. Um, skin pigmentation, which is something that actually runs in my family, darker, but then we have patches of lighter skin. Um, so I know I feel really insecure when I have those. Um, I really didn't want to film for the period of time that I had them on my forehead because I was so insecure and so scared that people were going to comment and be like, what's that? But think about it. No one did because... As the, I've been talking about it this whole entire episode, you are your biggest critic. No one is going around and being like, look at her eczema. Everyone is going around and being like, look at that beautiful girl. Look at her. She's slayed. So don't worry about it. Just wear what you want to wear and be confident in the skin that you're in. Which one is the gap in my teeth? A couple influencers that I follow that have gaps and I honestly think it's kind of the style. All you really got to do is learn to love it. Next one is my thick thighs, and I don't know why, but I'm really insecure about it, and, and it kind of makes me feel like I'm not pretty. Girly, you are pretty. Everyone in this video is pretty and beautiful, and you guys have all the things. Um, but they say a lot of people in my family have skinny bodies, and sometimes I feel like I have to compare myself to people, but I know it's wrong. It is wrong. You didn't have to compare yourself to anyone else because you are you, and they are them. I'm trying to be friends with everybody. I think this is something that everyone pictures their head being friends with the whole crowd. I feel like it's so much more important to have quality friends over a quantity of friends. All you gotta do is find those few friends rather than trying to be friends with everybody. The next thing is I have a gap in my teeth and people don't say anything, but I always keep a mask on to make it not show at school. And every day I'm trying to find ways to make me less insecure, but it's not working. I have something that I always tried to cover up with my mask, and it was my eye patch. And you might be like, girl, the mask goes right here. No, no, no. I wore the adult mask so that it would go right up here and cover all of that because that is another one of my big insecurities. They're not going to go away no matter how much sleep that I have. They're always going to be there, and I'm just going to have to learn to love them. And I think you're going to have to learn a lot. Learn to love the gap in your teeth just like me. Okay, so the next one is trying to impress everyone. My body size and comparing myself to others. You can't impress everyone. Do you know how many people there are on this earth? Do you know how much time and effort that would be and how it's sort of kind of impossible to? Okay, so the next one is I've always been insecure about my natural hair. Girl, I get you. And I put it up in a bun or ponytail girl i get you once again and i don't like the way it looks and it doesn't grow fast at all i've gotten a bit better about it though i just try to remember that not all hair looks the same and everyone is beautiful and unique in your own way do you struggle with this too yes girly pop yes yes a thousand times yes not that i'll marry you but that i have this insecurity too I feel like with natural hair, it, everyone's so diverse with their hair, and it's kind of hard to find someone who actually has hair like you, and that's the beauty of it, but then that's the pain of it as well, and I feel like the best way to get over this is just letting that hair go, go free. Letting it go free. That is exactly what you have to do, and that is exactly what will make you feel better. Okay, so we have two more responses actually this time, so let's get into them. I struggle with acne, and I don't really like to go out or do anything, anything because I'm insecure. You can't put your life on hold because things that you're insecure of. Insecurities are always going to be there, except once you get over them, and I'm still not over them either, guys. Don't act like I'm a professional in any way, shape, or form. You're going to have to go out and do things and not have to care what anyone has to say. Last one is, I've always been insecure about my waist, but I'm more confident. And also, my teeth. It was a big problem. But I learned how to get used to my teeth and my hair. I was insecure, or I was embarrassed of having short hair, but now I'm proud. Look at this person. They had so many of common insecurities that everyone on this list has. And look, now they are growing and thriving and loving themselves and that is the goal and i think that was a great way to end off this episode my fingers are hurting from holding these 
but I thought it would be a vibe, you know? So was it a vibe? Comment down below. But that was the video. I know it was really long, really chill, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you now that you're done with this video because this girl is trying to get monetized. The secret emoji for this video is going to be the heart emoji that is made with your hands because I want you guys to all know that you are loved exactly the way you are and that your insecurities are all things that you're thinking in your head but no one else is really thinking of those i will see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much bye